Hello, pilots of the internet. Welcome to Foldable Flight. My name is Kyle, and this is where I teach you how to fold paper airplanes that will blow your mind. And in this video, I am teaching you how to fold the world record paper airplane, Suzanne, designed by John Collins. Now this plane, honestly, the first time I flew it, I knew it was the best paper airplane I had ever thrown. And this is part of a collaboration I've done with John Collins where we took eight of his very best paper airplanes and I designed these illustrated templates for the plane so that when you fold your plane, it can look like this rather than just a plain white sheet of paper. So in this product, there are boomerang planes that fly back to you, a bat plane that flaps as it flies, a tube plane, which doesn't look like it should fly at all, this world record paper airplane, and some others that just look amazing and fly beautifully. And uh, they are available on the paperairplaneguy.com or foldableflight.com. So if you are interested in buying your copies, a uh, package will come with three templates for each paper airplane, and you can get them at the paperairplaneguy.com or foldableflight.com. So head over there and buy your copies now. Now, in just a moment, I'm going to show you guys how this plane flies, but again, I just wanna emphasize how amazing this plane is. 226 feet and 10 inches. So uh, my throws are in a gym. I can't fly that far because it hits the back wall, but take a look and then I'll teach you how to fold it. using our templates you can see this is actually an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper and you can fold this plane using eight and a half by 11 but it's not going to fly quite as well as if you use a four proportions so on this paper we have marked some cut lines along the side so that you can trim this paper to the correct size and really either way works so if you don't want to take that extra step that's fine but if you want the absolute best performance trimming these sides will help you out so let's start by doing that Okay, now that I have my paper trimmed to size, let's begin just by folding this top edge here to this left edge here. And it should make a big diagonal crease right through that top left corner. And we can unfold that. And now we will take this top edge and fold it to the right edge. Again, our crease should go right through that top corner. And we will open that up. And now we're gonna take this edge here and line it up on our crease right there. and I'll open that up. I'm going to do exactly what I did here on this side as well. So I'm folding this edge here to that crease there. And I'm going to open that up just for a moment. And I'm actually going to flip my paper over and fold this edge to that edge just to give us a nice center crease. Okay. 
and then I'll open the paper back up to this side. And I'm going to fold in on this crease and on that crease, just like so. And now I'm going to pull the paper down and I want, you see we have this intersection right here. I'm going to make a crease basically going right through that intersection by pulling this top down at that point. And you'll be able to tell when you've achieved that because you've got these creases here that are going to line up with those edges there. And this should make a point right at the top where these two creases intersect. Be sure to line up your center crease here with the center crease on the bottom layer. and you can crease outward like that. And you should have something that looks just like this at this point. And now all we have to do is fold in on this existing crease on each side. And now we will fold the plane in half. And we're going to start our wing crease just a bit above the nose. And we're going to fold so that the edge of this wing here hits this corner here. So that's a little bit tricky, but be sure to hold all the layers nice and tightly, kind of using your thumb here to hold all those layers together. And we'll fold it again just a little bit above the nose and we're kind of swinging this edge, you can see we have this little triangle here that represents that back corner. We want that triangle to just disappear and when it does, that's when we know we have our wing in the correct place and we'll make our crease. And then I'm going to flip it over and fold this side to match. Now, regardless of how I folded the other side, if you can see I pretty much hit this corner, but if I missed it badly, the biggest concern is folding this wing to match the other wing, not to hit this corner. So whatever you did on the first wing, you want to match on the second wing because symmetry is very important. So here I'm going to fold this one, just trying to match it up exactly with the wing I've already folded. And there you go. You can see this is the world record plane. It looks just slightly different than the one at the intro of this video because this was folded from the A4 proportions, whereas the other one had been folded from the eight and a half by 11 proportions. So now all we have to do is tape, use a little bit of tape to hold some layers together. You can see that these layers are loose. So you're going to want to tape them right here and also on the outer edges slightly. Then we're also going to want to tape the wings together so that they don't open up in flight. So put a little bit of tape there. Now, if you want the exact taping diagrams, you'll need to purchase John's uh, book because he goes into extreme detail on how to tape this to really achieve and try to challenge the world record. But I'm just showing you guys, this will fly brilliantly just like this. Just a little tape right there and a little tape holding these layers down and you're going to have an exceptional paper airplane that will fly farther probably than any other plane you've flown. So thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget you can buy your copies of the world record fold and fly planes at foldableflight.com or the paperairplaneguy.com.